I'm broadcasting from inside Nicole, a Taurosaurus lattice about 90 feet long is this skull. What an incredibly cool animal. If you want to see the original of this, you can. It's on display in Wyoming at Casper College at the Tate Museum. This is a cast, and for reasons unknown to me, I can stick my entire head in where it's nose. This is the nostril region. You know it's a ceratopsian because it's got beautiful horns, it's got a big flared bugle bone, and it has this rostrum bone. It's really these two that make something a ceratopsian. You can be bipedal with no horns like Stachysaurus. The teeth, they start not up in the front of the mouth, and that's a big, sharp beak. The teeth start way back. So it would use this powerful snipping tool to shred the toughest of plants. And then the teeth, would, the jaw moves back and forth. It doesn't chew like mammals, but it would grind up the plants quite nicely. These animals are incredible. This would have had a keratinous sheath over the top. Maybe it went out to this far, maybe to this far. Maybe only to here. We don't know. But what we do know is Taurosaurus is its own genus, and it's awesome. I'm Dr. Brian Curtis on location at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center. I'm part of Fossil Crates. Thank you kindly. Adios.